Hey guys, it's Mr. Schmidt here, and in this video, we're going to start topic 4.2, Monopoly. So this is an incredibly important topic. Um, as far as the AP micro exam goes, you know, this topic along with perfect comp, so many multiple choice free response questions every year are asked about these two topics. And so it's really important we do a good job with Monopoly. So Monopoly is one of the three types of imperfect competition, along with oligopoly and monopolistic competition. In a monopoly, you have one large firm. So the firm that firm is essentially the market. Uh, in a monopoly, it does not mean that you, that you can only have one firm, but it does mean there is one dominant firm that has the vast majority of the market under their control. They sell a unique product that has no close substitutes, high barriers to entry, so it's very, very difficult to get into this type of a market. They are price makers, so they get to set their own price, and they do do some advertising to convince people to buy their product. Google is a great example of a monopoly. Um, even though there are other search engines like Bing or DuckDuckGo, the vast majority of people use Google. So uh, one term that you might hear sometimes associated with monopolies is something called market power. So market power is the ability to influence the market or equilibrium price. And so firms that have market power are price makers. So this is where we kind of left off with the graph of a monopoly. We had the marginal revenue curve, the demand curve. We talked about why marginal revenue is below demand. Demand is still equal to price. And so the next thing I want to do with it is add in marginal costs. So luckily, just like with perfect comp, in monopoly, marginal cost looks exactly the same. Now, one thing you may be asking yourself here is, well, should there be a market graph side by side? And the answer is no. This graph in front of you is the market. Because remember, a monopoly, the market effectively is that one dominant firm. So we don't have to do side by side here. Another thing that's really nice is that like in perfect comp, monopolies maximize profit by producing where MR equals MC. So that very important rule around profit maximization still holds here despite the fact monopolies are quite different from perfectly competitive firms. So if we look at where MR intersects MC, that's at six units. And so that is going to be our profit maximizing quantity. Now we have to be very careful with price. A lot of students want to go straight over from the yellow dot all the way over and say the price is five. This is actually the price in perfect competition. But remember, marginal revenue is no longer equal to price. So in order to get the monopolist price, we have to go from MR equals MC up to the demand curve. And so the price is $7. So the monopolist actually charges a higher price than perfect competition. That's very, very important. Go up to the demand curve to get your price. With average total cost, again, like in perfect competition, it, that is going to tell us if the firm is making a profit, taking a loss, or breaking even. So if price is greater than minimum ATC, the firm is making a profit. If they're equal, breaking even, or a normal profit. And then if price is less than minimum ATC, the firm is taking a loss. So we can go ahead and add in average total cost here as an example. And because minimum ATC is below the price of $7, this firm is making a profit. And in terms of drawing those uh, nasty little boxes, it works exactly the same way. So again, for total revenue, as an example, it would be quantity of six, price of seven. So it'd be this entire box. For total cost, it would be six units, go up to the ATC, curve it over. So the ATC per unit uh, is six, so six times six, and then your profit is this rectangle here, and then the height of that rectangle 
is your profit per unit. So finally, as a, a review, go ahead and try this AP multiple choice question, and we'll see what you come up with. So the correct answer here is going to be $50. So again, the, the box here is going to be right here where my cursor is. So a base of 10, the number of units being sold, profit per unit is 5, 10 times 5 is 50. So that's all for this video on Monopoly. Until next time, have a great day.